Uh, here's a look at a last lap, second from last corner contact I had in an earlier race that um, unfortunately ended the race for me. I'll be curious what people think of it. At the time, I was quite annoyed because it was a typical spa race in which you spend the whole race trying to break the draft but you can't, particularly through the pit stop phases, you just want to try and pit and get away, but the cars follow you and continue to draft you through the whole race. I'd led the whole race, and I knew that it was going to be a last lap lunch, because this is typically what happens at the end of these draft races. They build up to the last corner, which is fighting for the win. So at this point I already knew the car was on me and was going to get a run. So I basically committed to the only real defensive move you can make into the final chicane, which is defend the inside. Um, I knew that he would go to the outside and take the way around the line around my car and give him the inside for the next corner. But if you protect the inside apex a little bit and break a bit deeper, it blocks their turn into the corner and they can't get that proper drive off. And you can typically either hold your position or go around the outside in the second apex, which is what I was trying to do here. Now I want to give as little space as I can get away with, so I block him, then decide I'll move over just to um, just to stop his line a little bit. But I don't I don't push the cars too close. I move it to about the middle of the track because I want to give myself as much turn into the apex as I can. Break as light as I can. Now my line here was aiming to take, you know, a fairly natural apex, but I'm not turning the car into it quite late here because you don't hit the early apex in this chicane, you hit the late apex. But unfortunately at that point the car's met in the middle. And my steering arm got um, badly bent. Now, why'd that happen? So I break down. And because I'm on a fairly narrow line, you can't really turn into late. Otherwise, you're just aiming for that bollard there. So I've got the car turned and I'm starting to turn it. Preferably aiming to hit the apex around here somewhere, which would be my goal. But at that point, the collision's already happened. Now, the car's so bent it won't even turn, um, turn at all. So I had to um, get a tow from there, which put me at the back of the field. Initially I didn't feel I'd done much wrong, but watching it more back I did squeeze him and I could have possibly just let the move go. But I figured if you break early here, you're basically seeding the lead. That would give him the direct line into there. He could make an apex or run the middle of the track and at that point you're basically lost. So you have to push the braking maneuver. And while your car is on the inside here, realistically you shouldn't really be getting turned into because you've still got that bit of track. But the decision I, the mistake I made is that if you look on board, you can't actually see my car, so he doesn't really have any clear idea of where I am. He didn't run a particularly wide line through there. I felt he could have um, gone on the brakes a bit deeper and stuck more to the left of the track. I certainly wouldn't turn in it that narrowly, but these things happen quite quickly and it's hard to exactly know what's happening in that split second move. I certainly don't think I should have been on the brakes earlier or taken a narrower line in. I just don't feel there was much room. 
Anyway, this is just a 50-50 kind of racing move. These things do happen, particularly fighting for the last corner and the last lap of Spa. The, um, one of the drivers who was speaking called it pretty fairly, I think, on more a 50-50 move. It's hard to say. A few of the drivers in the comments felt it was more my blame. I am curious if people feel that way or they have an opinion on the matter. Uh, thanks for watching.